Hi everyone, it's uh, Ken here from the Ken's Tech Tips website and I'm here today with the Samsung Galaxy Note which is a new device from Samsung. It has a, uh, a 5.3 inch uh, display so um, where what Samsung say is that um, so this is the uh, this is the device uh, which has just come out. Now what Samsung say is this device is uh, kind of somewhere between a smartphone and a tablet. So it's a 5.3 inch HD Super AMOLED display. Just to give you an idea of how that compares, this is uh, this here on the left hand side is a smartphone. This has a 4 inch display. Uh, this is a this is a tablet. So this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is a 7 inch uh, display, and this is um, also a tablet. This is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, and as the name suggests, this is a 10.1 inch display. Now, one of the benefits of a smartphone such as this is it's very, very easy uh, to put this in your pocket. It's great for being able to access your internet, uh, email, um, text messages, all of that information on the go. Uh, wherever you are, you'll be able to access all of this information. Um, with a tablet, now tablets are great because um, you know you can you can use them at home on the sofa and you can watch you know whether you're watching movies, looking at pictures. Um, or, or simply playing games, you get a really nice experience. Now, the idea behind the Samsung Galaxy Note is, you, you know, you really get the best of the smartphone, so you get the portability of a smartphone, but you also get the great multimedia features of a tablet. So you can imagine that this device is placed between here and here, and it kind of tries to give the best of both worlds. So how does it do that? Well, first of all, it is, you know, it is, it is bigger than a normal smartphone, um, but it's still easily pocketable. So it's only 9.65 millimeters thick. So it is a bit thinner than a typical tablet, um, roughly the same thickness as a normal smartphone, um, but it will fit in your pocket very easily. Um, the display is very high resolution, so this is why it's called HD Super AMOLED. The display has a resolution of 1280 by 800. Uh, so that's a WXGA resolution. That's the same resolution as the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 over here. So you get the same number of pixels, but in a smaller amount of space. Um, for comparison, the iPad 2 has a, uh, a, a 1024 by 7768 display. Um, so that is actually a lower, the iPad 2 has a lower resolution display than the Samsung Galaxy Note does here. Um, so just to go through some of the other features of the device, so it has a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor, um, so that means it's very fast. So uh, perhaps I can demonstrate by running a um, running a, uh, a benchmark right here. Uh, so what this is going to do is this is going to test lots of different features of the phone. This is a standard um, benchmarking program called Quadrant Standard. And you can use it to con com compare uh, the performance of this device against other devices which are currently there on the market. Um, so the iPhone 4S is a dual core 1 gigahertz um, processor. The Samsung Galaxy S2 has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, and this Samsung Galaxy Note has a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor. So we we do expect um, to get some very good um, scores with this device. So what have we got here? We've got a quadrant standard score of 4056. Um, and you can actually just see here, there's a pie chart comparison here. So here you've got the Nexus One um, down here. And then uh, you've got some other devices here. You've got the Nexus One original. This is without, uh, this is Nexus One with Android 2.1. This is the HTC Desire. Um, at the bottom here, you've got the HTC Magic. Um, so in fact, the, the Galaxy Note um, has an absolutely incredible score um, according to this chart. It does very, very well. <coughs> so that means it's very fast. You'll notice it's not just the processing that's fast. Um, this phone supports HSPA Plus, so you can uh, do downloads up to 21 megabits per second. Um, so if you're on, on free in the UK or something like that, um, then you can get very good download speeds. Um, O2 also supports HSPA Plus and so on. It supports Wi-Fi. Um, like you expect, and you know this, the standard connection technologies, Bluetooth, um, you know Bluetooth, GPS, um, whatever. Um, 
what else? Um, inside the device is a 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, you can add a micro SD card slot um, of up to 32 gigabytes. Um, so that will allow you to expand the memory very easily. On the back of the device, we have an 8 megapixel camera here with an LED flash. Um, so that's great for taking photos in low light conditions and so on. On the front, um, I should add also that you can do a full high definition video recording here. So you can do 1080p, um, so full high definition video recording. You get some really nice videos from this device. On the front here, um, you've got a 2 megapixel camera. So that's mainly for video callings, whether it's Skype, Google Talk, um, whatever. Um, but yeah, you can use that. The device itself runs um, Android 2.3. Um, so this is gingerbread, but it's got the Samsung TouchWiz uh, user interface. So that has got the enhancements such as being able to scroll through um, all the widgets very quickly, being able to dynamically resize your widgets, um, things like that. So the, the, this, these features like this aren't in, um, in the stock gingerbread, in the original gingerbread, but you will find it in, uh, in, Sam, in the Samsung version. Um, because it's uh, because it's just Android, that means you get all the cool features such as Google Maps and and so on. The unique feature about a Samsung Galaxy Note is if we turn it around, and you see here, we can actually pull out um, a stylus. So there's actually a stylus which is built into the back of the device, and this is called the S Pen. <coughs> um, this is well, I call it a stylus, but um, I don't think Samsung like uh, us calling this a stylus because. You know, this is this does do a lot more than a stylus does. So if I use the built-in S Memo application here, which is on the Galaxy Note, then what I can do is I can actually do handwritten notes. Um, so I'm just going to write "Hello, world." There you go. Actually, that's written quite small. Um, but you can actually use a stylus to you know do handwritten notes, um, things like that. Um, you can also do freeform drawings, so that's really good if, you know, for example, you're a graphics artist, um, then you can, you know, you can write like that. You can use handwriting to text recognition. So here, even when I wrote Hello World, and then you see here it's recognize a text, Hello World, and then I can, you know, I can save that or copy it to clipboard or whatever. So it basically gives me um, another way to, you know, to input into the device. So if I'm sending a text message to someone, then I can... Let's use the keyboard as normal using my uh, finger, or I can use a uh, handwriting recognition. Or uh, what I can also do is I can use the uh, voice recognition. So if I press this button here, this is a test voice recording. So there you go, this is a test voice recording. So there's actually loads of different ways to interact with the device depending on what you prefer. So you can interact you know, with your finger, with the pen, or by voice. Um, so all of those things are in this device here. Um, inside, inside the device, so um, we'll open up. This is, this is a hyperskin plastic backing. Um, but if we open out the device, see so here you've got a, um, a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. Um, so that will give you, you know, you'll easily be able, this will easily last you an entire day. Um, for comparison, the Galaxy S2 has a 1650 milliamp hour battery. Um, so this is, in fact, this is substantially bigger um, than the Galaxy S2 battery by about 50% actually. Um, so you get really good battery life out of this device, so easy to be able to use it for the day. So yeah, so this is the Samsung Galaxy Note, and it's um, it's out now in the uh, it's out now in the UK.